Hi, this is Andy Flippiak in Toronto for the week of October the 3rd. Well, we ended the third quarter last week on a heavy sell-off. Most markets worldwide were trading at new lows as the continued Fed hikes have tightened credit and slowed down the global economy significantly. However, as we started the month of October, the first two days we've seen a massive rally in stocks, bonds, real estate and precious metals. In fact, the Dow was up 4.4% over the first two days of the month of October. Now, to explain this is that the sentiment appears to be changing, that the Fed may pivot or stop raising rates sooner than later. A couple of things that have contributed to this is the uh, fact that the Bank of England was forced to bail out the British pension system by buying bonds to help unwind a uh, pension system that was using leverage in fixed income to try to get higher yields. It backfired as rates went up and the bank was really the only buyer of these long-term bonds to bail them out. As well, we saw the uh, Bank of Australia raise interest rates only at one quarter of a percent rather than the expected half a percent. We also heard rumors of Credit Suisse, a uh, European bank, um, selling off, well it did sell off heavily down to about 0.2 times its book value, which is the market's way of saying that this bank may be in trouble. Assets on its balance sheet are clearly in distress and that may cause a, another sort of explosion in the market. So as we start this month, there's the hope that maybe the Federal Reserve is done on their interest rate heights. But it's hard to say because the Fed still hasn't indicated where they're going just yet. But it's a nice little reprieve from the heavy sell-off that we've been going through and hopefully for investors this trend will uh, continue for a while and help take away some of the painful losses that this year has brought forward. Thanks for watching.